dear students welcome to our today's lecture in our today's lecture we are going to study preparation of semi solid dosage forms so in this lecture we are going to study preparation of ointments paste creams and gels so let's begin with our today's lecture so students basically semi solid dosage forms like that of ointment has the basic recipients such as ointments base that may be oleaginous base absorption base water miscible base or water soluble base along with that it requires a solvent antioxidant as well as preservative now moving to the next one paste so recipients used in paste are the base and the base included in paste are hydrocarbon base water miscible base or water soluble base along with the base the other recipients include antioxidant preservative and flavoring agent now talking about cream so cream has bases such as hydrocarbon hydrocarbon waxes oleaginous base fatty acids and alcohol along with that it needs emulsifiers humectants antioxidants preservative flavoring agent then talking about gel so gel includes gelling agent this gelling agent may be natural polymer synthetic polymer or semi synthetic polymer it may also be sometimes inorganic substances other than this it includes humectants and co-solvents stabilizers antioxidants preservative and flavoring agents so these are the various recipients that are used in preparation of semi solid dosage form in our previous video we have already seen the role of this recipients in detail now moving to the next slide that method of preparations so students this represents the various method of preparation that are included for preparation of this respective semi solid dosage forms so first one is trituration or levigation method so this is used for preparation of ointments creams paste then the next is fusion method so fusion method is used for preparation of ointment cream paste as well as gels then the next is chemical reaction method so this method is used in preparation of ointments and creams and the next is emulsification method so again ointments and creams can be prepared by this method then cold method is used for preparation of gels and the last one that is dispersion method is again used for preparation of gels now we'll be seeing all these methods one by one in detail so starting with trituration method so in this method initially side dish reduction is done followed by levigation then mixing with base then spatulation or trituration is done mixing base to produce final volume or final weight then comes homogenization and finally filling okay then here is a short description regarding trituration method so students as already seen this method is used in preparation of ointments creams and paste this is the most common method used for small scale manufacturing of ointments this method is used when bases are soft and medicament is insoluble in base the procedure that is followed is finely powdered the solid medicament in mortar and pestle or on ointment slab weigh required quantity of an ointment base or cream base paste base the formulation that you are preparing okay then triturate solid medicament with small amount of base until a homogeneous product is formed after that what you are going to do is you are going to add remaining amount of base and mix uniformly add liquid ingredient if it is present in this formulation your final product is prepared okay so this was for ointment now we'll be seeing for creams so again this is used for finely powdered insoluble powder particles or liquids insoluble powders are added by geometric dilution liquids are added by making well in center air pocket formation is avoided okay that is air entrapment is avoided mortar and pestle are used when we have large quantities and 
glass slabs are used when we have small quantities to be prepared getting now talking about levigation so it is incorporation of insoluble coarse particle also known as wet grinding insoluble coarse powder is rubbed with mortar base and sorry molten base or liquid or a semi solid base a considerable sharing force is applied to avoid grittiness then the next method that is again common for all that is ointment screens and paste is fusion method so the fusion method is followed when drug and other solids are soluble in the base when an ointment base contain several solid ingredients such as white beeswax cetyl alcohol steryl alcohol stearic acid hard paraffin etc as components of the base it is required to melt them the procedure that is followed in fusion method is as follows the ingredients and base are melted and properly mixed to obtain a uniform product then initially the ingredient of highest melting point is melted then remaining ingredients are added in decreasing order of melting point further mix uh, mixture is removed from water bath and stirred to cool it care is taken to avoid thermal degradation of the base or other components during this fusion method students following precaution is taken insoluble drugs in base are added in powdered form whereas liquids or semi solids are added at a temperature of 40 degrees celsius and volatile or heat liable ingredients are added at last now we'll be seeing the fusion method that is employed for preparation of gels so students in this method what happens is various waxy material employed as gelling in non polar media is melted then drug is added when waxy materials are melted by fusion then it is stirred slowly until uniform gel is formed now the next is chemical reaction method and this is utilized for preparation of ointments and creams so students here chemical reaction is involved in preparation of several famous ointments this method is based on chemical reaction between drug and ingredients of the base to yield a elegant and stable product example of this is strong mercuric nitrate ointment of 1959 bpc now moving to the next one the next method is emulsification this emulsification method is used for preparation of ointments and creams students an emulsion system consists an oil phase and aqueous phase and an emulsifying agent for oil in water emulsion system the following emulsifying agents are used these agents are water soluble soap then cetyl alcohol then glycerol monosterate combination of emulsifiers such as triethanol amine stearate plus cetyl alcohol then non ionic emulsifiers such as glycerol monosterate glycerol monooleate then propylene glycol stearate etc now in case of water in oil type of emulsion the following emulsifiers are used is first is polyvalent ions like that of magnesium calcium aluminum etc procedure for this method is in this method fats oils and waxes are melted together on water bath at 70 degrees celsius so this is your oily phase then an aqueous solution is heated at same temperature so that will be your aqueous phase then the aqueous solution is added to the melted base with continuous stirring until product cools down and semi solid ointment is prepared remember student an emulsifier agent is added and this emulsifying agent is needed to make the product 
stable getting so this is how emulsification process is done now moving to the next one that is for gels so the method is cold method so students in this water is cooled to 4 to 10 degree celsius and it is poured into a mixture sorry, sorry a mixing container here gelling agent is slowly added and agitating until the complete solution is reached after that the temperature is maintained below 10 degrees celsius during this melting process a solution of the drug is added slowly with gentle mixing the liquid is immediately transferred to container and allowed to warm to room temperature whereupon liquid becomes a clear gel so this is how cold method is used for preparing of gels now moving to the last method of preparation of gel that is by dispersion method so students in this method gelling agent is dispersed in water with stirring at 1200 rpm for 30 minutes non aqueous solvent is used to dissolve the drug the preservative is also added then the solution of drug is added to the above gel solution with continuous stirring and thus your gels are prepared by dispersion method so that's all students in our today's video thank you for watching till end